Hi, Wildcats. Let's read a story. Ready? It's called Scaredy Squirrel. Warning. Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. The unknown. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Green Martians, killer bees, tarantulas, poison ivy, germs, sharks. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place. No tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, killer bees, germs, or sharks. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts. Same old place. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. 6.45, wake up. 7 a.m., eat a nut. 7.15 a.m., look at view. Noon. Eat a nut. 12.30 p.m. Look at view. 5 p.m. Eat a nut. 5.31. Look at view. 8 p.m. Go to sleep. But let's say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. Hard hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, parachute, bug spray, mask and rubber gloves, net, band-aid, sardines. What to do in case of an emergency according to Scaredy Squirrel. Step one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, exit tree. If there is absolutely, definitely, truly no other option. Exit plan, top secret. Exit one, note to self, watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Exit two, note to self, do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract sharks. Exit three, note to self, look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming the ground. Exit four, note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, playing dead is always a good option. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. Day after day, he watches until one day, Thursday, 9.37 a.m. A killer bee appears! Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets his idea. The parachute is in the kit. But something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive. 
Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, germs, and sharks. Until he lands in a bush and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, two hours later, finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So, he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes to his life. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45 a.m. Wake up. 7 a.m. Eat a nut. 7.15 a.m. Look at view. 9.37 a.m. Jump into the unknown. 9.45 a.m. Play dead. 11.45 a.m. Return home. 12 noon, eat a nut. 12.30, look at view. 5 p.m., eat a nut. 5.31 p.m., look at view. 8 p.m., go to sleep. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. <gasps> Poison Ivy. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story, Wildcats. I'll see you next time. Bye.